guys. This is Simon Sage from Crackberry.com. We are at Blackberry Jam Asia 2012, and uh, we're checking out the Blackberry app generator. It's been recently updated to support uh, Blackberry 10 Alpha devices. So, basically, by going to this website here, you can uh, create a quick and dirty Blackberry 10 app. Uh, it's super easy. You just plug in uh, your your RSS feeds and uh, make a few design considerations. So, we already have the Crackberry.com blogs RSS feed plugged in here. We've picked out a, a layout, but let's say we want to add a few more feeds to the app. For example, uh, maybe something from the forums, right? So let's head on over to the Crackberry forums. We can dig up the RSS feed for, let's say, the general forums. That's kind of the most popular. We got the RSS feed right there. Boom. Copy link address. Back we go and drop in the RSS feed. And as you can see, there there are a lot of different kinds of content there that you can pick from Picasso, Facebook, YouTube, uh, all this different stuff. You still have to have all of the rights to that stuff since you're um, going to be displaying all of it through the app. But uh, here we go. Add, uh, make that the CB general. Boom. There we go. So we've got uh, two prominent feeds here, and we can pick a layout for this one. I think for blogs, that's fine. General forms, I think we'd want to have more in a grid formation. Yeah, no, that's, that's perfectly fine. All right, so now we move on to step two, where we uh, pick out our logos and whatnot. So. We already have uh, a lot of our assets lined up here. Uh, we'll grab the title banner here. It's got to be reasonably big, you know, 480 by 120. Uh, I've got a fairly beefy one here that should do the trick. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so now we've got, uh, we can crop that out as we will. Crackberry.com. Perfecto Mundo, maybe a little bit wider. Okay, that's good. And we can drop on down to the crop. Color picker, okay, so uh, obviously we want the banner to be uh, in the Crackberry colors here. Oh, but uh, we want to keep the white background there so it mixes well with uh, with the background of the banner there. Don't have the transparency going on there, so uh, that should be good enough. So we're done with that. Header menu color. Now this, this we can definitely get into. The nice crackberry orange. Ah, oh, perfect. And the header text color should be fine as is. I don't think we need to screw around too much with that. Make that a bit brighter. There we go. Nice. So, uh, now we hit done there. What do we got next? We've got text link color. Again, you know, I'm just feeling the orange for obvious reasons. There we go. Done. Cool. So, uh, now we gotta pick our icon. We've got a couple of them already lined up. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, I think we already downloaded that one. We're good. Uh, so, we go boom. CB. Where did I save that to? Maybe downloads? There we go. Boom. There we go. That's <laughs> Crop that. Just so. Okay. Excellent. This is starting to look like a, like an app already. All right. So we've got our icon. We've got our app name. We're gonna call that just. Crackberry. Nice. Okay. And save and continue.
Yeah, you can actually just, they all start the same way. Oh. Alright, so let's just go with the CB in that case. There we go. Save and continue. Alright, so now we just gotta punch in our description here. Uh, oh, we got a caps lock on. Uh, best resource for your favorite devices. Boom, save and close. Monetize. Oh goodness, we've got options for advertisements here. So we could log on to the BlackBerry Advertising Service if we wanted to make some cash out of it, but I think we're fine as is. Just punch that in. So now it is building the app. It'll take between 3 and 10 minutes. And uh, once it's done, we can submit it right to App World. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we're just going to wait a little bit and check that out. All right, so that took well less than 10 minutes to build up. And uh, now we've got the uh, ability to check out the, uh, the app on a uh, dev alpha right here. So, uh, Mark, you want to go ahead and scan that in for us? Sure. This link here is actually for the BBOS 7. It's the dev alpha. We've got a code on this page. I'm oh, okay. Grab the app ID. Sure. So we've got a preview app here, so we can see it early today. So, so it's fully integrated into the store. But we don't have a source. We were having some issues with the name. We, could, we couldn't oh, use Crackberry or, or Blackberry in the name. So, so it's uh, online. This is like a map for this to refresh the issue. And what uh, the application is going to look like. Very cool. I, I really do need to change that banner. Is there, uh, is there, is there any way to update the app through the web interface then? Or? Yeah, so you can go through any time and update your application. So you can see uh, new posts in there. If you want to share things, you can uh, share content. Oh, that's send it over BBM, Facebook, Twitter, email. A lot of options. And I, I didn't have to do any work at all, really. I just <laughs> you get all that uh, essentially for free. So just that's put in your your banners, and your info, and your feeds, and you're good to go. That's awesome. So uh, now, now we can shoot this off to BlackBerry App World, right? Yeah, essentially. So the that will appear in January for App World. So we've got a preview for BlackBerry 10 here today. Okay. And the final version, once they're uh, complete, they'll be automatically submitted into App World in January. Okay. So uh, I can I can just queue that up right now. Awesome. So there we go. That is super, super easy. So anyway, this is a Simon Sage from BlackBerry Jam Asia 2012, and uh, we just made the BlackBerry BB10 uh, app at the uh, BlackBerry App Generator.